Predictions Decision Podcast. Hate me and love me. There's no in between. So, Strap Hanger got choked to death. And now we got a lot of things going on. People think it is reminding you of the George Floyd situation. Yeah, okay. But let, let's take a look and listen to, to, the, to the BS that's going on again. We've been following the aftermath of a fight on the New York City subway that ended with a 30-year-old rider dead. They used we're MSNBC. That altercation that investigators say started when the men threatened other people on board the train. News force Chucky Beckford reported. And that's the LES, LES too. Bunch of savage lands. Like Broadway Lafayette. Chucky. Bunch of savage lands down there. Yeah, David, and that new video shedding new light on that altercation that happened underground here at the Broadway and Lafayette station yesterday. Did that supposed Good Samaritan go too far? Well, we spoke to a man, a witness, who was there and recorded that altercation, and even he says he's not sure. He says it's complicated, but he does say he believes that the man who was placed in a chokehold was held for too long. We have to warn you, that video you are about to see is disturbing. Graphic. Heroism or vigilantism? The video shows three strap hangers subduing the 30-year-old man after witness Juan Alberto Vasquez says he got on the northbound F train. Got on the northbound F train, right? So he got on the northbound F train. Threatening riders. Law enforcement sources with knowledge of the case confirm his account, saying according to a witness, the man began shouting, quote, I want food. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm ready to go back to jail, and I'll hurt anyone on this train. The man got on the subway car and began to say a somewhat aggressive speech, saying that he was hungry, he was thirsty, and he didn't care about anything. He didn't care about going to jail. That he didn't care that he gets a big life sentence, and it doesn't matter if he died. Vasquez says he was scared and believes others on the train were too. That's when he says a 24-year-old rider came up behind the man and put him in a chokehold, holding him there on the ground. Two other men standing over them also helped subdue the man. If there was fear, the people who were bluish were over there, where he separated everything, moved from their place. I stayed sitting in my place because it was a little further away. But obviously those moments, well... One thing's fear. One thing's he may be armed. He says that chokehold lasted about 15 minutes. Even with the train stopped at one point at the Broadway Lafayette station and the doors open. Well, most of the people left. If they open the door, the train separates and it leaves. Almost all the people just stayed. The ones who were there on the floor fighting. A couple who was standing in front of them stayed. Vasquez says no one thought the man would die, even after he went limp. EMS arrived and performed CPR, but he could not be revived. I think no one thought that he was in a risky situation because he was defending himself all the time. All the time he moved, he tried to remove his arm, and then when they had it on his side, he kept kicking. So he thought that he's defending himself. The 24-year-old who delivered the chokehold was questioned and released by police. He is not facing any charges at this point. The medical examiner has yet to determine a cause of death. Former NYPD Chief of Department Terry Monahan. What do the detectives have to look at this case? Is what would a reasonable person do and what would a reasonable person be expected to do? Now the district attorney's office will ultimately determine if charges will be filed. Now you heard this. Now wait till you see the activist bullshit videos. Because if he's hungry and need food and shelter, nobody's around. But as soon as he dies, they turn around and start advocating for um, no justice, no peace, no justice. Where were you at when he needed a sandwich, bro? This, this is what kills me about these fucking liberals and this Democratic grand shithole they call New York B. Hold on, watch this. Oh, there were dozens of protesters here who were demanding justice for Jordan. Neely. Demanding justice. Point blank, Fair use picks 11. In this case, and that anything short of that is a major injustice. Here they go. There they go. Look at it. There they go. We just want basic due process, basic justice, and black people need to be treated like the American citizens they are. Protesters amplifying their calls for an arrest in the chokehold death of 30-year-old former subway How he's not being treated like the citizen that he is. He's able to ride a train, demand food and money from people that he doesn't even know, and turn around, threaten people, and all of a sudden... He's a martyr. 
for the black community with the RBG flash, yo, we are so confused, bro. I, I, I don't get it, man. Former Jordan Neely. Cell phone video shows a 24-year-old man, reportedly a former Marine, choking Neely to death on an F train Monday. Obviously, the guy was, was high. Questioning and released. Went through cardiac arrest. Oh, wow. Really? You just let this man choke this man out and go home? Like, what is this? The medical examiner... I don't trust a nigga with a nose like that, bro. That nigga knows is crazy. That does not mean criminal charges will be filed. That is up to the Manhattan DA's office, which is extensively reviewing the case. Police sources say Neely had 40 prior arrests and was acting erratically on the train, yelling for food and shelter in the middle of a mental health episode. Protesters say that's no justification for his murder. But the city is telling me that if I have a mental condition, Wait a that's going to be my... my Wait condition. a minute. So we're going to take advice from... The, her name is Queen Oceana. <laughs> Yo, her name is Queen. She's a protest. You can't make this shit up. She has an RBG flag. The Pan-African flag. God damn it. With a blonde, yo. With a blonde lace front wig. Tipsy <laughs> and she's supposed to be just like Harley Quinn. <laughs> Yo, look at this bitch. is telling me that if I have a mental condition, that's gonna be my my death sentence. The law firm representing the Neely family released a Bro, statement Thursday. She has on a Harley Quinn outfit with blue and pink eyeshadow and a blonde wig. She has the nerve to hold the Pan African flag. That's how I know this generation. I'm a millennial. I was born in 84. The baby boomers is looking, laughing at us. The Gen Z's and Gen X is fucking crazy how she can walk out with that fucking makeup and that get up on and, and carry a pan African flag. That's blasphemy to our, our black ancestors. You think you're doing something, but you're dressing up as a white, a white comic book character. For the emancipation of Harley Quinn because she was from under the joke of and his abusive and his mental and his goddamn physical abuse and anguish that he put on Harley Quinn because she fell in love with a psychopath. But you're portraying a character that doesn't really exist. But who are you, Queen Oceana? This is crazy, bro. This is insane. This is what we got to deal with in this lifetime. This country is done, B. Jay saying Jordan suffered from mental illness since age 14 when his mother was brutally murdered. One of the firm's partners oh, said, Oh, really? 14, huh? this case because 15 minutes is too long to go without help, intervention, and without air. Passengers are not supposed that to That nigga wasn't getting choked that subways. fucking hard, Protesters B. Protesters are placing the blame on Mayor Adams, who continues to speak cautiously about Look at these niggas. death. Murder! 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 I'm let the investigation run its course. I have faith in the criminal justice system, and I'm going to let the process take its place. And those who believe... Uh, that I should do something differently. I respect that. It's sad that Governor Hochul Look at this idiot. Adams couldn't declare what it was. Red listen. Look at this bitch in the back. The medical examiner was what? <laughs> the BLM of Greater New York says that it can... BLM also stands for Biden likes minors, bro. I don't care what it is. Biden likes minors. It is what it is, bitch. Predicts the Sister Podcast. Hate me, love me. This is over tweet. It's over in the city. If you able to get off this planet, I'm it's not even saying out of this country. If you're just... able to get out of this, off this planet, if you're able to get off the planet, take it as a stride to get away from all these insane humans. That goes for Russia, Ukraine, Biden, the administration, Trump, everybody. They're all insane. I don't care anymore. I'm MAGA 2024, as always. But trust me, they're all under one umbrella. I'm I'm red-pilled all day. I'm woke. 
I'm woke for a red pill since. Government's been lying to us. They hiking up the prices, 7% interest rates on loans, 7% interest rates on mortgages. People are being evicted every day. Can't pay their fucking rent. It's insanity, bro. And you worried about this scumbag that was on the fucking subway train, but nobody was there to give him a sandwich from BLM before he got choked out. I'm confused, man. It is what it is, man. Predictions Essential Podcast. Hate me, love me. This is over between. Hit me up at predictions at gmail.com. Predictions underscore ascension underscore TM on Instagram. Show me love. Predictions Ascension on Twitter. There's a lot of porno shit on Twitter right now, B. I love Twitter. I ain't gonna lie. Because... <laughs> I never seen so many vaginas on Twitter on a fucking platform. Twitter is the truth. Shout out to Elon Musk. It is what it is, man. Welcome to America, B. <laughs>